Hello, everybody. How you doing? Welcome to Orlando. David Locke along with you. What an amazing, amazing game uh, last night. We're still riding high from that one. Uh, my hotel room doesn't have goldfish. It's got a, it's got a purple couch and some nice art. This, this is this hotel, very largely art based. All right. Well, last night was clearly amazing. Locker room atm atmosphere afterwards. A lot of talk about Raj's speech. A lot of talk about this team coming together as a unit. Uh, hopefully figuring out, you know, the way the phrase I used to Ron Boone is I, I thought that this group likes each other. The bus is a little louder than it was last year. The the locker room gets along. The plane has more fun uh, when in the time I see them together. But I'm not sure they believed in each other yet, and I think they do believe in each other now. That's probably the, excuse me, the biggest improvement to anything that we're seeing so far in this uh, in, in that, just that game probably gives them something to believe in themselves about. So today they've got another task, though, because they go from playing the number one defense in the league to going to play the number one defense in the league. How's that possible? Well, they did well enough against Miami that now Orlando's taking that slot. So the offense, which has struggled, Al Jefferson has incredible, you know, worst matchup he probably could get in the league going up against Dwight Howard when trying to see if he can uh, get himself right. The Jazz do have a big advantage at point guard, though. If Darren Williams can muster up enough energy, Jameer Nelson's coming off an ankle sprain. Jason Williams and Chris Duhon are both not great. So there's so a lot of things there where I think things can work out for the Jazz in this matchup. You've got to guard the three. they got a bunch of guys that aren't shooting the three very well. They shot 38% last year. They're 33% this year. Uh, but for the Jazz, really, the big picture to me is this team is 4-3, and three, don't feel like they're playing very well. They showed a lot of heart. They've gutted games out. They've got some games because they got Jerry Sloan as their head coach. And to me, they're, it, they're really fortunate to be 4-3. and three. And if they can get really one of the next three, get home, and then they have that stretch of 12 out of 14 at home coming up. I think it's even more than that, maybe 15 out of 18. I think that would just be really, really big if they can kind of – then get the rhythm and get some practice days. And we won't, we probably won't even practice this entire trip. There's just no time. So uh, big thing tonight is just trying to find a way to sustain energy. Ron and I will talk about that throughout the broadcast. See if they can guard those three-point shooters and, and defensively have enough energy to keep yourself in the game so that the offense ever clicks against Dwight Howard and the number one, now number one defensive team. So great win last night. Millsap out of this world, gutty, Elson, Price, everybody was just awesome. I know you guys are jazzed about it. By the way, Miami's coming to town December 8th. You can get tickets for that one by calling right now the operators, 325-2999. they got a mini pack available that includes the heat. The other way to do it is go to jazz.flashseats.com. And uh, that's a great secondary market for you to get tickets to games. And even this upcoming three-game stand, jazz.flashseats.com, has tickets you probably can't get anywhere else other than that. So check that out. All right, we'll talk to you tonight. Sloan Show coming your direction at, I believe, as, let's see, that would probably be 3.30 today. So have a good one.